Okay, so hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about our project, Gene Perfect Trip. My name is Jun Hong. My name is Yi Wei. Okay, as we know that trip preparation can be time consuming and tedious, especially when we want to find some suitable hotel to stay and uh, create detailed itineraries. So uh, our project can our project aims to help users to construct their trip plan based on their input and requirement to make it much easier and more efficient than ever before. Uh, this is uh, based on ChatGPT based on GPT-4, so we didn't need any train the, training data to train the model. So for testing, we manually generated 20 set of user trip preferences and manually collected the, ho the relevant hotels and attractions online that match those preferences. And during the plan making process, the software will also collect the hotel's information by, do the, by doing the web scrolling. And there are two data processing in our project. The first data processing is about converting user input into JSON format. And the second is, to, is about uh, like integrating the extracted hotel information into the plan. So this is how user preference look like. Uh, these two samples are from our testing data set. One of them is detail, which includes the length of the trip, uh, the destination, and also the budget. And the, and the other one is unclear and ambiguous. Our system performs very well in no matter which case. And in today's presentation, we will pick the hardest one, which is the ambiguous, ambiguous one as our example. OK, we implemented the front end and the back end using the Django framework. And we built data processor and two plan generators in the back end. Our software needs to interact with GPT several times to generate the plan. If you first interact with GPT to, to convert the user input into JSON format, so the data processor will parse the JSON, uh, the JSON format into some information, and it will do the wrap scrapping uh, based on those information. And it will pass everything to preliminary plan generator or improved plan generator. Those generator will construct system prompt using all the information given and send the prompt to GPT, and GPT will send back either preliminary plan or improved plan to the user. So to validate our system, um, we have come up with this um, uh, validation uh, criteria. So it is mainly evaluated by human. And then we have, um, we have to compare the destination, the hotel price, and the length of the trip, which are the three main factors of our um, preferences, and compare the generated plan with the user input. We also taking some peer review um, suggestion and use the GPT Expedia plugin to generate some uh, um, example trip plans for the uh, such inputs and compare our result to their result. And for the improvement, we also came up with some additional metrics so that there shouldn't be any change to the hotel information if the user only wants to change the activity and vice versa. So here's a sample example of our preliminary plan output using the ambiguous user input. As you can see, it correctly outputs three, um, three hotels basing bands and also um, come up with a plan of, um, of duration of seven days and state each day what, what users should be doing during a regular ski trip. So, and then for our improved plan, the user has the ability to input some additional uh, preferences into our system, and our system will, based on the, um, improve, uh, the input, and then do some um, generation and then get a different output based on those uh, inputs. So our results are quite surprisingly good. For both of the preliminary and improved plan, we were able to achieve 100% accuracy on all the accuracy criteria. However, on the improved plan, we, we were only able to get 90% pass rate on the additional metric we, we mentioned. As you can see from this, the activities of this um, plan is drastically different than the previous one, even though we only wanted to change the hotel information. So here's a comparison to the GPT Expedia plugin. On the left is our system generated plan, and on the right is the GPT plugins. And then as you can see, our plan 
combines the hotel and the activities for each day and then creates a more detailed plan. As the GPT plugin, sometimes you only returns a activities or just returns some hotel information that has no relevance to anything. So our comparison to the existing plugin is that our generated plan is a lot more personalized and a lot more detailed. And it also allows user to keep improve on our preliminary plan. Initially, our scope was the user is only allowed to interact with the system one time. But as, our, uh, as we develop into more into the system, we were able to at least interact three times. And every time, the, our system will be able to generate a, a different plan than the, than the before one based on the additional information. And for if we are going to do something similar, we probably could think about um, adding more to our system, which is such as such like booking hotels for the user or managing other tasks. Yeah, that's all.